Welcome to this tutorial on Witness 22.5. In this particular tutorial we're going to be looking at the extended reporting that's been introduced for labour elements and for machine elements. Let's have a look at this model which is maintenance.mod from our sample models directory and I'm here in a version prior to version uh, 22.5. And if after running the model for a while we right clicked and looked at the statistics for the maintenance team here, which is a labour element in Witness, we would see that uh, we had a busy percentage here of 65.46%. If we went for a detailed report on that, we could get a split, a percentage of time for each task that had been performed. Now in 22.5, if we look at the same report and go to the detail, we can see that we get an additional number of columns of information about each task. So not only do we get the percentage of time that's been spent on a different task, but we get counts of the number of occurrences of those tasks as well. We can see that most of the figures here are in black, some are shown in grey, some of the subtasks here are categorised together, so walking to a job would be categorised as part of doing that job in the general report. But here we're showing walking to job as being a separate count, but where that separate count doesn't contribute to the overall total in the standard statistic, we show it grade. Let's now look at the uh, statistics, the extended statistics for machines in Witness 22.5. In this model we have a production schedule that's going to be produced of different parts taking different routes through the machine shop. And if we just set the model running we'll see they're released into a release buffer. We can see very good use of tag attributes here to show the batch number and the stage completed. So we can see that traveling with the parts around, uh, around the model. And you'll notice that parts are transferred in batches between the machines. Now what we're particularly interested uh, in in this model is the extended statistics on the different machines. And some of these machines have uh, multiple cycles, some of these machines have multiple breakdowns, and some of these machines have most multiple setups. And if we look at some of these statistics, uh, after we've run the model for long enough, so let's just run the model a little bit longer. And here now we've reached a point in the model where we can look at the statistics for the machines. Let's have a look at the statistics for machine one. Now here, the summary statistics is as it was, but now we also have the option of getting a detailed report for machines. And here, if we look at this, this particular machine has got three different breakdowns. It's got a, a main drive reset, an electrical test harness breakdown, and a fixture breakdown. And now we're getting the percentage breakdown time split into those three breakdowns. And as well as that, we're getting counts of how many times those different breakdowns have occurred. So again, a very nice splitting up of the information into the percentages for each individual activity. If I move to machine three, and let's look at the statistics for that and go to the detailed report, we can see this has two setups defined, a main setup and an interim setup. And we can see that there have been eight main setups and there have been 24 interim setups. The final operation here, machine 5, if we go to the statistics for that, then we can see that there are five cycles uh, defined against this machine. Load, drill, wash, drill and, uh, and unload. And if we look at the counts of those, 17 operations, they all occur in the cycle, uh, a full cycle of that machine. But we can see the percentage time that's been spent on each of those cycles. Let me just show you the detailed dialogue for that machine to illustrate the, the five different cycles, especially as two of them are called drill. So here you could call that drill one and drill two. Each have got different timings here, but we're getting a nice summary statistic now. Uh, which can be broken down into the five different categories of cycle that we have. So a lot more interesting information 
about the operations of individual uh, machines. One of the key drivers in us introducing this extended reporting for machines was the fact that in Witness 22, we introduced a new type of breakdown, a trigger breakdown in Witness, that enabled easier modeling of preventative maintenance where responses to prognostic information or diagnostic information would enable a response time to potentially get to a machine to repair it before a major breakdown would actually take place. The way of setting up that type of model is explained in an, another video from, from the Witness 22 series. What we're going to look at here is if we just run the model and look at this Gantt chart being created of the different machine breakdowns, we can see that machine one here, which is the, the line of the greens and reds, is showing cycling followed by breakdown, followed by cycling, followed by breakdown. And the short breakdowns are where our response to some prognostic information have occurred uh, in time to prevent the major breakdown taking place. The major breakdown here, which is a much longer duration, we've had one of those in this particular Gantt chart. Now we can see that now from the statistics for the machine as well. So if I right click on the machine and we look at the statistics and bring up the detailed report, we can see that we've had one main failure and three times that the predictive maintenance has kicked in. Uh, and the predictive, the total of those three has only been 1.44% of the, of the total time available, whereas the one major breakdown has taken 11.96 percentage of the, of the time available. One of the things we've added as well is a whole raft of different functions that let you get at all these numbers on the tables because quite often you'll want to get the numbers out, either display them on the, on the witness screen or you might want to take them out for some more business analytics uh, into other programs such as Excel. So we give you access to each of these figures. Let me illustrate that. If we go to our model assistant, uh, we know it's something to do with util, utilization, so let's just search for that in our tree. And this is an easy way of finding a different function. So in our modeling functions here, here's all our functions to do with util. So our normal ones for looking at the utilization of machines might be p-util or s-util, different amounts of time spent by that element in different states. We have one here called machine putil. So let, let's say we're going to be using that one now to look at that individual table of results. Let's just go back to the table. If I look at the detailed report again, the way of accessing this is to reference the uh, cell position in this table. So if we want to know the percentage of time spent on predicted breakdowns here, we would look at the fifth row of this report. Let's use user actions and let's say that we're going to print and then I'm going to right click on machine putil insert with prompt which went down below your display you could see but I picked the insert with prompt different option there and then we're going to use uh, going to select machine 01 and then task index 5 which is the one which we said we were going to use now if we do that and we open up the interact box so we can see the statistics coming coming through. This uh, model has other information being displayed in the interact box. But if we now run user actions from the run menu, it says that the, the statistic I've asked for is 1.4354. And that tallies exactly with the statistic in the detailed report here of 1.44 as being rounded to two, two decimal places in the table. So the fifth entry was the predictive maintenance percentage time. So hopefully we've uh, taken you through the new extended labour reports, the new extended machine reports, and I've shown you briefly how you can access those reports and get those figures for use and extension out to other, other applications. Mm -hmm.